Hi guys, so uh, Apple has just released the next version of tvOS. I received an email a couple of days ago that they have released the next version and asked me to go ahead and update. So I've, I've connected my Apple TV to my uh, Mac and um, uh, per Apple's instructions I just need to launch iTunes, uh, click on this icon um, that appears uh, when your Apple TV is connected and it shows this page and all you and what they say is all you need to do is click on this restore Apple TV button and it will guide you through the process download the operating system and install the new version and stuff but somehow it hasn't been working for me so when I click on Apple TV restore Apple TV it asks me to confirm that I need to restore and when I click on restore it gives a message that the Apple TV software update server could not be contacted and the resource could not be found so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go directly to the download page of the tvOS software and that's available at developer.apple.com slash tvOS slash download and what I could find here is there are two versions of the operating system one is a stable version that was released on October 29 2015 and the next one is a beta uh, 9.1 um, that was released on November 3rd 2015 um, being the bleeding edge junkie that I am I'm going to download the the beta version of 9.1 so there are a couple of links here. One is to download the uh, operating system and the other one is to see the release notes. Um, let me go ahead and download the operating system and I'll click on this and um, let's see. Okay, the download has started. Um, you might have to be a, a developer uh, registered with Apple to do this. Um, I'm already logged in uh, with my developer account. That's why it, it, it went ahead and downloaded. Uh, but if I'm not logged in, it'll ask you to uh, uh, you know, provide your developer credentials. So let it download. Um, I'm going to resume uh, this video once the download is done. See you in a bit. Okay, so we are done with the, uh, with the download now. And uh, it took about 20-25 minutes for me. Um, the total size of the download was 944 uh, megabytes. A pretty huge one so let's see what to do with it now so it so once it downloaded uh, it automatically extracted an IPSW file that's what we'll need let's go back to iTunes so I'm at the same Apple TV screen what we need to do now is instead of just clicking restore Apple TV button do an option click so I I press the option button and then click this uh, restore TV and that's when it pops up with um, uh, a box uh, 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 a file chooser uh, to select um, a custom file to perform the update um, instead of um, iTunes by itself downloading the update from uh, the download store so uh, I click on this uh, file that's the one that uh, uh, that got downloaded and open so it says iTunes will erase and restore your Apple TV to version 9.1 software and will verify the restore with Apple okay restore and it's extracting you can see the progress bar here it's extracting the software and preparing restore and I guess it will go on for a while Alright, so it's done and your Apple TV has been restored to factory settings. Please disconnect from your computer and reconnect with your TV. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you uh, upgrade your TVOS. Thanks for watching.